see me, I be ma. I go beat you. I go so beat you, eh? If I beat you, finish it. Oh, master, you must come. See, Wally, I mean, every person that come with us box down your blood clot and kick you down. No one step in your belly. Where you want say a blood clot get? Cause you go like afraid, me afraid of you. Yes. Are frightened for bumbo wall you. Yes. But show me never come out from that this morning. This morning. So when the bumbo wall you talk about, talk again and see me no kick down. What me I do with you? What me I do with you? <laughs> a real bomb arrest team! Jano? Yeah. Me a combo? A me a really combo? You really combo me? Kia, I'll take you. Mm. guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl miss our fabulous pretty fun any salon pretty in every life where you going and welcome back to my channel you know the vibe already guys if you're new to my channel please make sure you like comment and subscribe please make sure you click the bell so you know whenever i post a video and let's get straight into this story time just a disclaimer i am not going to be drinking in this video because like i'm literally on a alcohol ban right now but this story time yeah you may have heard me spoken about this before about when i went to cardiff and um if you do know who i'm talking about please do not send hate to this person obviously this person is a prick and a lot of females need to be aware of this guy because like this guy's absolutely disgusting like and you know what it is it's like it's so sad because like i keep repeating the same shit all over again like i keep making the same mistakes i keep going for the wrong guys guys like i keep going for the wrong men and I know you guys have given me advice. I know you guys have said, Ren, like, you need to do better. Ren, you need to change the people that you're dating and all these things. But, sis, I've literally tried, okay? So, basically, before I get into this story time, I want to basically let you guys know where I am, where I'm at right now. I'm currently decided, after this whole situation, I'm not going to be doing no more story times um i have one story time that's coming out which is going to be my last story time until next year because i'm literally in a phase where it's like i fully fully just want to focus on my business nothing but my empire i just want to build my brand and and the energy and the love that i put into men i want to put that into my business so like i'm i'm done with like dating i'm done with like I'm trying to find that right one or like you know what i mean so I've decided that I'm just going to put my love and my energy into my brand and my business only. I just decided, like, after everything I'm going through, after, like, recently just coming out of, like, slowly coming out of depression and stuff, like, I do have a video that I need to do about that as well. I do have, like, a life update and stuff that I'm definitely going to be doing. And, like, a video where I'm talking about, like, how being in a dark place affected me mentally. But, obviously, I just feel like, do you know what? This is the story time that I need to get off my chest. And, like, people always th say to me, like, Ren, do you do story time about everybody? Like, men really be scared of me because they feel like I'm going to do story time about them. But, no, I don't do story time about every single guy that I've come across. Or the people that I care about that has not done me wrong, I would never go on the internet and, like, tell the story time about them. If, it were, if we didn't leave on a wrong note and if, like, we didn't do things in the relationship or whatever to really like damage each other then i don't need to come on the internet and tell that story times because there's people that have hurt me but we've handled the situation like grown adults and we've settled it off social media and in our private ways i've just let it be like that but anyways like i've said like this is going to be one of the last story times that i tell on youtube till probably next year um i am taking a break of story times because i'm just right now trying to work on my brand and like i said before i'm just trying to put that love and that time and effort that i put into trying to speak to somebody or trying to get to know somebody into my businesses so this is going to be a celibacy journey for me this is going to be just to be just focused on myself your girl has invested in a in a real big ass dildo tmi too much information i know but i have invested into a long blood clutch shalong and that's the only thing i need right now i am not interested in dating or being with anyone if it's not about the bag if it's not about expanding my businesses i don't want to hear about it and that's it point blank period no further ado i'm going to get straight into the story time 
please make sure you like comment subscribe click that bell so you know whenever i post a video and if you're a very judgmental person hear what i'm saying i don't give a fuck about how you feel i don't care if i've robbed you the wrong way in this video i don't care if i've said something and it's made you feel this girl's done at it i don't give two fucks i say it how it is if you don't like it bob's your fucking uncle you know you know what it is like all right later okay so basically guys yeah we're gonna call this guy finesse because that's his name i'm not going to make a name up for this bumber ass right we're gonna call this guy finesse because he goes around and he finesses people and he lies about his whole entire organization he lies about his life he lies about everything about him is just a liar and this is going to be another surviving cardiff fucking brokey i don't know why i attract broke niggas i don't know why i attract men that be sleeping on their on their mum's floor or sofa i don't even know why i attract these bummy ass niggas i don't understand why but something is just not giving and i need to change a lot of things about the men that i speak to hence why i am done right basically this is how i met this guy i'm scrolling through tiktok right i don't even know what time it was or what day but i was scrolling through tiktok i'm scrolling 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 i come across this nigerian guy i'm like oh he's cute oh he's nice this guy's cute so i liked a couple of his um his tiktoks and then after i went on um instagram and then i liked two of his pictures and then after like let me say like in the next like, 30 minutes this guy followed me by this time i wasn't following him so he's i only liked two of his pictures so he's ended up following me i followed him back then i saw that he dm'd me when i saw that he dm'd me i was like okay cool like he sent me i the i emoji then i gave him back the i emoji back but then he was like oh you're right i was just having a normal conversation and then like straight away before even getting deep into the conversation or anything the first thing that this guy said to me was oh please could you keep this conversation private so you're saying please could you keep this conversation private but we haven't even begun to we haven't even had a conversation like me and you ain't even talking right now in the dms you've given me an eye i've given you the eye back and then you want to tell me oh please can you keep this conversation private like what the fuck like what the hell yes most of you could say when that was a red flag but you know what bob's your uncle in it like i don't know what was happening at the time but because he was so beautiful i was maybe i was just love struck at the time we're talking we're talking talking but like i said to you guys before i i'm dating not anymore but i was dating do you know what i'm saying so if you know my last story time i told you lot i was seeing bigfoot that i flew to miami to go see so i was talking to bigfoot mainly before i started speaking to him and like i said to you guys um when finesse messaged me and we started speaking in dms he was like oh um please could you keep this conversation private whatever whatever so we started talking here and there it wasn't like a deep conversation or whatever um we exchanged numbers we started speaking on whatsapp but i was more interested in the other guy that i was talking to that was my my main that was the main dish for me do you understand that was my mayo that's on my salad do you finesse was just somebody that yeah like I, he, he secured the number we sec i secured his number whatever whatever he's just there like he's a backup dancer so cool like he messaged me he sent me a voice note on snapchat like the conversation wasn't really going too well because like i was more interested in someone else not him so and because of certain things that he was saying kind of gave me the red flag sing signal i was just like one you told me not to keep this private what are you hiding what are you running from and then two like the way he would send me voice notes and stuff was a bit sus like it was just a bit weird for me so i was just like this guy's not giving me he's giving me the ick because what you see on tiktok is not what you really seen in real life with him after that now i've decided like to talk to finesse i've decided to okay let me see where this could go let me see if like he's actually a cool guy whatever so me and finesse is talking we're on the phone we've been speaking bear in mind we've been speaking for a whole entire month before i decided to link him just to put that out there because i don't want you lot to think i'm a mad person so me and this guy's talking we're having conversations we're chatting on snapchat we're always talking on snapchat now and in the beginning when me and he was talking i was more like trying to dodge him not trying to have a conversation with him because there was flags that was popping up and i didn't really like it and weeks have gone by now me and him are talking a lot now even more we're speaking on the phone even more we're sleeping on the phone to each other obviously like when i first started speaking to him he told me that he had one child like he told me that he had a son okay okay cool he also told me that he was divorced he said that he's not married to his wife for seven years i was like okay what happened he told me he was married the muslim way um 
and they dis divorce each other um they're not working out they've been divorced for almost a year that's what he told me he also told me that he was 20 um 28 to find out that this man is 29 um because he completely forgot to at this point it's like he forgot about his age because how can you tell me you're 28 and then i'm finding out that you're 29 years old touching 30 in one year which is nothing nothing wrong about being 30 but be honest like live your truth he told me that his mom and his sister lives in peckham and he lives in cardiff he's um he's son lives up there and he wants to be close to his son so i'm like okay cool i understand like i'm all for a guy that wants to be a great dad like if you say that you live in cardiff because you want to be closer to your son like he he ha ha like i'm happy for you do you understand like toodles to you babe so a couple days have gone by now minimal on the phone having a conversation and it must have slipped out of his mouth that um he's got three kids so i must have said to him oh like how many kids would you want in the future he was like oh i want four kids we literally fell asleep on the phone or whatever having a conversation that night and i must have said to him like how many kids do you want in the future he told me around and told me he wants to have four kids and i know that i will i want to have four kids too so he i was like oh that's like me i want to have four kids as well he was like oh i want to have four kids yeah and then i was like he was like oh all i need is one more with you i was like what do you mean you need one more you say you got one and he was like oh no i got three I was like, what do you mean you got three kids? He's like, yeah, I got three kids. I got two boys and one girl. Them are his child. And the last um, one, which is from his current wife, is not his child, but she's like his child because he's been in her life since she was little. And he said that he's going to adopt her, which I felt like was so cute. I also got onto him. I was like, why did you lie that you had three kids? Like, why can't you just say it for straight from the point? Like, why would you lie and say you got one kid? Like, I was like, why did you lie and say you got one kid? Like, it's not that deep. If you got three kids, just say you got three kids. You didn't have to lie to me. Like, I wouldn't have, like, beat you down for it or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I would respect you to just be honest from the get-go. So he, he told me that um, every Friday he comes down from Cardiff to come to Peckham to stay at his mum's house because he doesn't get to see his family much. He told me that his mum his mom and his sister lives in Peckham and that um, he comes down here and there because he's got probation and that he has to go to his probation office every friday that's why he comes down so i'm like there like some idiot believing everything because you see one thing about me i can be very gullible sometimes and that's a bad trait to have like it's not really good to be but gullible so i'm there sitting there believing that yeah your mom lives in peckham with her with, with her daughter you live um you live up in cardiff because you want to be close to your son you used to live with your wife but you don't live together no more because you don't have divorce i'm believing everything do you know what i mean like some dance back after like speaking to the guy on the phone like getting to know each other like talking non-stop when i mean was talking non-stop getting to know each other like he will message me call me all the time he will phone me more than i will phone him and the thing is he was onto me more than i was onto him so that led me to believe like oh like he's pop like this could be something serious like that even showing him like yeah man's onto you like that because like i told you lot like i kind of was talking to bigfoot at the time and bigfoot and i was always clashing heads so i was i kind of fell back from bigfoot and then i i wanted to see what was going on with my man so you guys know like it was getting to the point where it's like i've come back from miami i've taken finesse seriously now i've kind of stopped talking to bigfoot and got went to got my doctor's appointment got told that i'm okay to be sexual now you don't know me it's been a long time i've not cheated i've been horny as hell like it's been so hard like watching porn is not doing shit for your girl so i needed to get my needs fulfilled and that is that like nobody can beat me for my, my, my honesty i'm talking to um finesse and i'm not gonna lie to you he's sexy he's good looking he's so sweet and i just was like you know what? i just want to bust my my nut and that's it like do you know what i mean like i started to realize that he was a bit too clingy and stuff like he'll be moving mad like certain things that i'll do he will move a bit mad and i was just like well going for this guy do you know what i mean but once again i didn't want to be judgmental i you know how like sometimes like i would be i would move paranoid i'll start calling my friends and saying to my friends like bro like this guy's taps like or like i need to be an fbi i need to find out certain things like i need to move into my crazy ways like i didn't want to be crazy with this one i just thought you know what let me just fall back let god reveal what i need to know about him so i didn't do anything crazy because i was just like you know what i don't want to start moving mad i don't want to move erratic i don't want to start moving like that crazy female for him to like say well why going for this girl like and he kept using my past like he kept using my traumas like and obviously like me and him had an open up kind of heart to heart time where we both opened up he told me that he was hurt he's been for a lot in his life he's been for a lot in his relationship and like he kind of like 
had a moment with me because we start both started sharing what we went through and we would have conversations he would like say things like oh you're pushing me away or like oh you're allow you're allowing your traumas to fuck things up between me and you this could be something real this could be something special he even asked me like would i move to cardiff like he was like oh would you move to cardiff and stuff like he was proper trying to get me to move to Cardiff to live in Cardiff with him. And I was thinking like, bro, you've only known me for one month. We've only been speaking for a month. I've only seen you once. And yet you want to have a whole entire relationship with me. Two, you're moving so quick. Usually it's the girl that moves quick, but you're moving so quick. Three, on top of that, you're asking me to move to Cardiff, a whole nother fucking city, bro. Not even in London, bro. I'm moving to Wales, fucking Scotland like you know that cardiff was in wales bro what the hell like that's how mad it is like sleeping on the phone to each other like every fucking other day like it's crazy so then he's asked me to come and see him Cardiff, which i traveled all the way to cardiff for man it's embarrassing can you believe because he kept making up excuses saying like oh he can't come to london right now like it's a bit mad like this is happening that's happening oh like he's meant to have probation on friday but like something's happened and they've reset dates and stuff so i was thinking like what the fuck like what's going on so he asked me could i go to cardiff come to cardiff to come see him so i was like okay cool he was like oh he'll get a nice apartment we can go out to eat go out for lunch and um, it'll be a nice little day like da, 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 da. like i was like okay cool so i booked my train ticket i went to cardiff i went to see him yes it is what it is bob's your uncle do you know what i mean like fuck so i've gone to cardiff now and he's come to get me at the train station, but he's come to get me in a cab. I thought this guy drove a Range Rover because on his TikTok, he's got, he's, he's seen sitting in a Range Rover. When I asked him, like, do you drive? What happened? He was like, oh, he's on a band. The famous line, I'm on a band. Like, bro, if you don't drive, just say you don't drive. You don't have to impress me, bro, because I live on Uber. It's not that deep. Like, I just hate niggas that feel like they can, they have to lie to impress a female. Like, I'm the most humble foot person you will ever meet. Like, I've got my own, my, I've got my own money i've got my own bag like i'm very independent there's nothing that i want from a nigga apart from real love so at the end of the day like i'm only expecting real love honesty and respect when he's there telling me oh no police has banned him his car got seized in cardiff he's not allowed to drive out here in cardiff he only drives when he comes to london so i've come to cardiff he's picked me up in a cab i'm like we got to the apartment the apartment wasn't ready there was some form of mix-up going on with him and the landlord i didn't understand he's then taking me to a block he's made me sit in this block first of all before we even got into the block we couldn't even get into the block so a woman came to the block because that's where she lives obviously let us in it was raining it was really fucking raining like it was raining so much like uh, like spitting rain mad heavy so he's helped her get inside and stuff she's unwinding trying to um take bags off her buggy and stuff i'm sitting i'm i'm sitting on the stairs because i'm sitting here thinking why the hell have i left london euston london euston station to come and sit on a blood clot staircase in ross clark cardiff like what happened to the apartment what's going on so i didn't want to show up myself in front of this lovely lady so i allowed her to go upstairs with her child to go in her house he's helped her escorted upstairs to help the buggy he's come back downstairs i'm pissed off now my face is like a slap ass blood clot dog and i'm saying rude boy what's going on like why have you got me in cardiff sitting on a staircase he's like oh something happened to the apartment the one that he booked before got cancelled so he had to book a second one like something's going on but i'm sorting it out i'm sorting it out so i'm like okay cool how long is it gonna be because why am i still sitting here and obviously it was raining so much and he was like oh like he's planned something for us to go do so i'm thinking i'm gonna go to this ho um, this hotel or this apartment you know sort myself out we're gonna go eat or go out or do whatever we're meant to do i then decided i don't want to go out no more because guys it was raining so bad like it was raining so so bad i was wearing a nice little blood clot gray jumpsuit from fashion over with my my brown um nude crop jacket bumper jacket and i had my hair in a nice little ponytail going backwards i looked cute the fuck no makeup just lashes period like do you know what i mean so I'm sitting on the staircase and it's like the more I'm sitting on this staircase in a block of flats, I'm getting irritated and pissed off because it's like, brother, I've left my yard. I've left London in a comfortable blood clot yard to come into Cardiff. I'm in Wales, rude boy. I sure damn know I'm not in the sea with the Wales. I'm in fucking Wales, rude boy. And you got me sitting on a block of fucking flat stairs.
So I'm sitting there and I'm looking at Amazon blood clot parcel. So I text my friend and I said to my friend, listen, this is where I am. If anything happens to me, you know what I want. I sent her the, um, the address because I just was a bit paranoid. Do you understand know what I'm saying? I'm having mixed signals now. Like, I'm feeling some type of way. My gut's telling me that this guy's mad. Like, and I'm now I'm paranoid as fuck because I don't trust human. Mankind is wicked. So, I've sent a picture. But well, obviously, when I was sitting on the stairs, there was like Amazon parcels in it. So, I sent her the closest Amazon parcel to me, which had the address of where I was. So, she knew where I was because I also shared my location. If anything was to happen, anything, a blood clot, anything, when I asked Christ. So, I finished. He's come now. And he's like, oh, I'm going to go check on the apartment so clearly this apartment was literally three doors down because i'm not gonna lie to you he was going back forth back and forth back and forth very fucking quickly so he's left i call my friend i'm pissed off i'm running to my friend and she's like ren why is it that you always get yourself in these situations i'm like me no no me no blood clot no never ever ever blood clot trevor I don't know why it always me that get the rotten apple pan the blood clot tree coming. No, so it means not Eve. He comes back now and he's like, I'm sorry. Like, things are not going as planned. I'm sorry that I've got you sitting here. I'm like, no, bro. Like, I'm not a basic girl, bro. Don't you, like, you making me feel like I'm a basic girl. Like, if you've, if you've made a date or a reservation and you've booked an apartment for us, like, bro, pattern your shit. Cause this is how I'm talking to him now. Now I'm talking to him like man then because you've, um, like, you've made me feel violated, bro. You made me feel like I'm a little girl out here, bro. Like, it's not adapting. Like, like, don't treat me like that because I'm a big blood clot fish. I'm a big kettle of fish. So. I'm like to him, like, you've got me sitting in a block of flats in Cardiff, in Medias Cardiff with the Swansea's, yeah? you got me sitting on a block of flats and then you're, you're running back and forth, back and forth in the rain like a headless bloody chicken, right? Trying to see this apartment sorted out, which is a couple doors down. And then you're telling me you're sorry. Don't tell me you're sorry because this should have been patterned a whole five days ago before you made reservations and plans for me to be here cool so he's gone to see the landlord he's come to get me back because he's like okay we can come back we can go we can go to the um the apartment now we get to the apartment guys and as i get into the apartment i'm seeing this indian landlord right and he's standing there on the phone he was nice by the way don't get me wrong he was a nice lad obviously having conversations with me we're talking back and forth whatever whatever he told me oh obviously there's been a mix up when this hotel when this apartment was booked it was booked after hours so obviously it didn't go on the list for the housekeeping to clean it up in order for you to be in and check in on time kitchen now the kitchen has an open plan so it has like a living room area it has a dining room table really nice deco it was really cute there it was really comfortable i'm not gonna lie it it wasn't a hostel it was actually a decent place but you know what I was saying in my head, like, why is it that this guy did not bring me to his house? Like, why didn't you not bring me to his house? Because when I was talking to him in the beginning stations, he was saying to me, oh, like, he lives with his friend. Him and his friend's got an apartment in Cardiff. And he also comes to London every uh, every weekend because he needs to see his family and he's got probation or whatever. So I'm like, okay, hey, cool. Like, do you know what I mean? I always wondered in my head, like, why is it that every time, like, we're meant to see each other in London, it never happens? And my ass is all the way up in Cardiff. So after that now, we're sitting down in the living room. We're waiting for this man, for the housekeeping to come to clean the room. He's decided, the landlord's decided he's going to clean the room himself because he's just that man. So he's decided to clean the room himself. He started cleaning the room himself. And, like, an hour, about one hour, 45 minutes later, he's then said to us, oh, here's the keys to the room like um i've cleaned it up check out time is like this tomorrow blah 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 blah. so i'm like okay cool like do you know what i mean so i've gone in the room checked out the room i'm like it's nice it's cute it's decent it's comfortable i've put my bag in the room i put my bag in the room put everything up in the room i've taken off my coat because like i said it was raining outside so i'm bare wet do you know what i mean the man was cleaning up the room it's been like an hour and 45 minutes now the man's still cleaning up the room i don't know what he was doing because he said he was waiting for the maid the maid didn't come so while he's cleaning up the room we've decided to sit on the staircase now that's in the building right in front of me he's holding my thighs and we're just talking we're having conversations he asked me what's my body count i've told him you don't need to worry about my body count my body counts on both hands do you understand he's asked me about all the niggas that i've 
done things with if i've slept with this guy i've slept with that guy i was like why do you need to know who i've done things with that's weird i was like listen i've only been in four relate three relationships and i've gone back to each and every one of my blood clot exes and the ones that have been extra add-ons you don't need to know about that that's between me and myself and god okay so the girls that he slept with he's then telling me that he slept with influencers he's then telling me are uh, like he can't fuck no um basic girl he's a bougie nigga he's dick um that his peace hasn't um that his peace doesn't go into anybody his peace is the the beast like the way he was talking about himself his ego was a bit too much his ego was too much ego was too much for me he kept trying to make him seem like he was that guy like the way he would make himself sound to me was like oh my gosh like i'm just that guy like when i chat to girls girls will fuck me like my dick don't go in any girl like not any girl can fuck me not any girl can fuck me that's how he sounds he sounds pathetic so he was talking about himself like that bigging himself up with his chest then after i was like so what girls have you fucked then he's like oh like i've slept with leah may i was like you slept with me, Leah May. He's like, yeah, I fucked Leah May. I was like, okay, cool. A lot of guys will probably say they fucked her and ain't fucked her. Like, calm down. He's like, no, I fucked her. I know what I did. You can't tell me nothing. I was like, so where did you do? Like, when did this happen? Where did this happen? He's like, bro, she was at my boy's apartment party. And um, it was a private apartment party. A couple of girls stayed back. Her and her friends stayed back. And then me and her was chilling in the room. She was sitting She was sitting on my lap. In the, she came in the room, was sitting there, having a conversation, talking. And then it just happened. One thing led to another. I just bend her over and put it in quickly. I'm sitting on the stairs and I'm looking at him like this. Do you hear your fucking self? Do you even hear what you sound like? What kind of man are you? Like, what kind of man sits there and talks about a woman like this to another female? You know I'm a bait person, but yet you stood there and you spoke about another female thinking that I'm going to hype you up. Oh my gosh, yeah, you fucked an uh, Instagram baddie. Da, da, da. Nigga girl, you're too chatty and I know you didn't fuck her. And in my head I kept saying, yeah, right. You know when you know someone's talking so much shit, so you don't even care? I would just didn't care. Then he started speaking about... Oh, you know Soraya, you know Ambush's cousin. I was like, yeah, I do. So what's the problem? Like, I've been known Soraya. I know since I was younger. Me and her used to go parties together. Like, we have I have a picture of me and her in a club in a party. Like that, that I know her. Like, what's the issue? He goes, Oh no, like my cousin's got beef with Ambush. Da, da, da. Like, he's bad talking to me about like he was so messy. I was like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Like, why are you telling me stuff about females and other people? Like, all I asked was like how many girls you've slept with? Have you slept with any girls that I know and stuff like that? He And then he started naming all these bait-ass people to me, influencers and stuff. He started showing me pictures of girls that he's done things with that I might know. And I didn't know these other cast people because at the end of the day, I don't really know a lot of females unless I see their faces. Do you understand what I'm saying? So after he's told me all of that, I've had a belly ache. My belly started hurting because I just had a bad taste in my mouth about him that, that time. Like when he done that, it really gave me the ick. The man's gone now. We've gone into the room. I've settled down. I put my bags down. I put everything down. Like I've just settled down, whatever in it. Do you know what I mean? Then after that happened, he was like, Oh, do you want anything? Do you want me to go to the shops? Do you want me to do anything? And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I had a belly ache. Like I felt like my period was coming. And I'm not gonna lie to you, like I, I don't know if everybody else is like that, but I do get spotting. I get spotting around probably like three days before my period because i've got pcos my shit's a bit different it's up and down all the time but i see a period every month around the day so i thought i was spot i thought that i felt something come out of me because i could feel something so when i went to the toilet i saw the lightest fucking mark that was the lightest spotting it wasn't even a period it wasn't even i didn't need to wear under i didn't need to wear i didn't need to wear a pad or anything i was like can i have drinks grapes and a pad please and he was like oh like um a pad i was like yeah like i think my period is coming like i'm feeling a bit weird my belly's hurting me and stuff he's like what do you mean your period's coming i think i said i think my period's coming do you know what i mean like what the fuck like that's what i mean so he's gone to the shop he's gone to get me the stuff that i wanted and then after i went to go sit in the living room um i sat in the living room i was on a phone to my best friend i'm having a conversation with my best friend and i'm telling my best friend like bro like this guy's weird like he's telling me the people that he slept with the people that he's done this way the people that he's done with my friend's like ren like what are you doing like you're overthinking like he's probably just saying that because he probably wants to have something serious with you so because he wants to have something serious with you that's probably why he's telling you what he's done with other girls i'm like no no 
I don't think it's because he wants to have something serious with me why he's telling me what he's done with multiple other girls that's in the industry, that's on social media, that probably knows me. Do you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Like, that's just chatty. You're chatty, patty, you chat too much. And I know he didn't fuck any of the, the girls that he said he fucked. He's just a liar. Like, he's a compulsive liar. That's what he is. He's a narcissist. He's disgusting and he's a manipulator. He's come back now. I'm off the phone. I quickly hand up the phone of my friend and I'm sitting in the living room. He came back with magnums. He's come back with the things that I wanted. Grapes, whatever, snacks, sweets and chocolates and whatever. So we're sitting in the living room now and we're vibing. We're just watching TV. We're listening to music. He's put the music on on this little 18 inch TV. He starts to play some rapper. Then he's sitting there and he's asking me, do you know that this is my twin brother? I said, what do you mean this is your twin brother? He's like, yeah, this is my twin brother. Like, this is my twin brother. I was like, what do you mean this is your twin brother? He's like, yeah, I've got a twin brother that does music that raps i'm like okay cool so i've typed the twin brother's name on instagram i've seen the twin brother's name on instagram but i've also realized that every single picture so when i looked on finesse's instagram I, i've seen all his outfits then i went on to the brothers the rapper's page and i saw that the rappers were wearing the same clothes as him and the same time and posted pictures the same time so is this really a brother and why would your brother show his face like it was a bit weird and i was thinking okay you know what mm, he, he 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 did say he's got a twin now so maybe this is right but then i was like no this is not making sense like why all of a sudden you waited for one month to tell me you've got a twin ass brother that does music but you don't do music this guy went out his way he went out his way to show me videos of his so-called twin brother. He was sending me videos on Snapchat of his so-called twin brother, which was fucking him. Everything that he was sending me, pretending to be his twin brother, turned out to be him. It was never a twin brother. There was no twin brother exists. So we're sitting in the living room right now. We're having a conversation. We're listening to music. He's put on the rapper's music, which is his twin brother, right? So he's there, sitting there, rapping every lyric, rapping every song, jumping up and down, like going into character, moving gun fingers, moving like a bad man, all these things. And I'm sitting there like this. What the blood clot, Aguanyasa? In the name of Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit, Aguanyasa. The man's standing there, rapping every bars. He's then telling me, oh, you know the girl that's in um, his brother's music video? It's his brother's um, baby mum now. He gave her a kid, all these things. This time, the girl that's in the music video has her own family. She's got a boyfriend and a baby. And this man is standing in front of me telling me that that's his twin brother's baby mum. Knowing that's not his twin brother's baby mum, you know? And the twin brother is, does not exist. He's talking about him fuck himself. He's the one that's underneath the mask. He's the one that's pretending to be someone else. That's a whole different name. But yet again, looking me in my eye, telling me that's his twin brother. He literally would turn the music up. Yo, 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 my brother's hard in it. My brother's hard in it. I'm standing there looking. I'm sitting there like this. You're out here getting 1k views on your music and you think I'm going to tell you that your brother's hard when I don't even understand what the fuck your brother's saying. That is you rapping. That's just not your brother. So I'm like, okay, cool. After that now, he's come over to me. I'm drinking. You know me, when I drink, I'm a whole different person. I'm drinking because it's like, I don't want to deal with the nonsense. I don't want to deal with anything. And now I'm drinking a couple magnums. I've drunk three magnum. I'm feeling festive. I'm feeling a bit hornified. Do you know what I mean? It's been a long time. I've not been caressed. I've not even felt a good G. Like, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. It is what it is. You can agree to disagree. I'd rather you not on my channel. Give it to me. It's getting late. It's about like, um, one something, whatever. He's coming over to me. He's hugging me. He's kissing me. He's being cute, whatever. So he puts on a song and he says to me, oh, Ren, like, this song is for you, babe. This song is about you. This is how I feel about you. I know we've been talking for a month, but I don't know why, but I've got strong feelings for you. And I can't wait for us to keep talking. I, I pray to God that me and you last and all these things and you come to Cardiff, like, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking, wow, like, this guy's really serious. Like, what the fuck? So he puts on a Nigerian song called Simi. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna put the song up right here so you know what song that he's put up. So he's put the, he's played the Nigerian song to me and he's like, this is how I feel about you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, rah, like, that shit then, like, rah, like, you're head of the hills for a girl that's not even interested like that. To be honest with you guys, I felt like, yes, he's a beautiful lad. He's very, like, he's very handsome. Like, he's a demon. You know how they say Nigerian men are demonic? That's what he was. He's very good looking. He's very charming, you know. Yeah, but. I never wanted to pursue a relationship with him. I didn't want something mad. I was not thinking like that. I just wanted to talk to him, see how things, where things would go. If it, if there could be pot a potentially something there. You know what I mean? Like, because I'm just trying to test the waters. So, 
he's finished playing this fucking song and after listening to this song i thought to myself like how are you falling for me so quick like it doesn't make sense so he comes um he goes to order food he gets chinese chinese has come and then we're sitting down we're eating chinese he's dished out the chinese he's put plates and um, plates and stuff on the table and i've come out the room because i went in the room after listening to the music i went in the room to go and check my phone because my phone was charging so i've come out gone back i'm like oh my gosh babe this is so cute like wow this is very cute like you pop on me this look like a whole little day because it was raining and we didn't end up going out on a date that we, he was meant to go take me to a restaurant whatever he decided to go get food he decided to get chinese and stuff and he put it both on the plate it just looks so cute like you look like i'm proper like you know them covid dates in your house that's what it looks like so after that now i'm really cold in this living room i'm really chilling he's giving me his dior jacket i'm sitting on the table with his dior jacket this guy's recording me i never took my phone out and recorded this guy once because why you're not my man why am i recording you i'm not a fan of you i'm not a fan right i'm not head over heels for no one so he's put he keeps recording me he's recording me i'm sitting there eating the chinese i've got my phone like that i'm watching eastenders you, you understand what i'm saying it's bad enough that you got me food and no fucking mayo but we've been speaking for a month and i told you that like mayo you didn't you didn't think to your common sense you'll get mayo and you asked me for one ketchup out the fridge catch up don't insult my intelligence so after that now i'm sitting there i'm eating my food i'm the type of person i can't eat food without watching something like i like to eat my food and have something there watching like i like to watch something to keep me like interested into my eating so i'm sitting there eating my food and i'm watching eastenders because you know i gotta catch up with eastenders tell me why this guy's sitting there recording me like i'm his gal like i'm his fucking girlfriend he's sitting there recording me so i'm like okay cool maybe you're recording me because i'm wearing your fucking jacket i don't know Bob's your uncle. So after I finish eating, I've got niggeritis. I've just drank three bottles of fucking um Magnum. I'm tired. I'm feeling horny. I want to go to bed. <laughs> you know the vibe already. So I've gone into the bed now. I'm in this guy's lips and whatever, whatever. And I said to him like, babe, like I don't want to have. I don't want to do anything because like I'm tired. I was. You know when you've drank, you've drank, and you you're tired now. You're not in the mood to do anything. Jiggy jiggy. So I'm laying there in his arms. And like, I'm not gonna lie to you, you know, he was very cuddly, he was very cute, like, he was really, really being so sweet with me, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm laying there now, I was on my phone texting my best friend, I was like, doing little stuff, scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through Snapchat, whatever, I put my phone down, I felt, I end up falling asleep, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I end up falling asleep like i was so fucking tired i don't know where this tiredness came from but i was super super tired i completely knocked the fuck out i was so tired and then god we did what we did whatever whatever i'm not gonna lie to you without going into too much details because i'm not trying to be a fucking meme out here on instagram or tiktok it was fucking bizarre like Like, one word to describe that sexual moment was bizarre things was going on that i didn't really understand like I don't know if he, the demon in him was coming out of him, but things was going on that I didn't really understand. And I started to see him do certain things that really pissed me off. Like whenever I was put in a certain position that I didn't like because I have PTSD, I'm fucking traumatized of that position. I started to see that his phone was on the bed right and every time i would turn this way or turn that way that he'll be picking up his phone and in my head i'm thinking bro you're not going to record me i don't care how mad i look in doggy position you're not about to record to me i know sometimes when a girl has a big back the view just looks wham and like bam like boom bam do you understand what i'm saying so i'm there and i'm like i stopped and i was like why is it that you keep picking up your phone stop picking up your phone because you're making me paranoid then he's like oh i'm just trying to play music i'm just trying to play music shut your mouth you're not trying to play music bro i know what you're trying to do stop it like it's not giving you know what i mean sometimes man i forget you obviously i've stopped now and i'm like i don't want to i don't want to have sex no more like it's dead like, da -da -da. like i got annoyed because he kept picking up his phone i got pissed off then after now we cheated again and we cheated again and then like every time we cheated yeah it was good i'm not gonna lie like he the guy can do you know what i mean like it was a bit mad like it was a bit mad like i was like wow like oh content for another year the way that intimacy was so bizarre i don't want to sh i don't even want to have sex with nobody for a good fucking year that i'm i'm content now i can start my journey that 
I was thinking, what is going on? And why is he moving like this? And why is he moving mad? Like, this guy was climbing on top of me. Like, his two feet was on the bed. And I don't know why he was in the air. Like, <laughs> I don't know why he was in the air. And his two feet are climbing. And then he's turning the opposite way. And I'm broken up. And, I, and he's pushing me this way. And he's pushing me that way. And I'm just like... What the fuck is going on? And why the hell are you up standing on the bed? I couldn't cope with it. I was like, look, I don't want to, I don't want no more. He wanted to go rounds, rounds, rounds. This man wanted to have seven rounds with me. My poor little body. Do you know what I mean? What the fuck? And I was refusing to go back to any of my exes because honestly, I just want to leave my exes in the past. I don't even want to be tapping into the soul ties. My knees, I'm just done with it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I knew to myself, I just needed one more dose, right? before i turn into a celibacy for one year because i made a promise with god that i don't want to sleep with anybody for one year so i knew that i wanted to be on a celibacy journey and be by myself i just needed to get rid of that urge do you know what i mean that urge that i had for so long i just wanted to let let it go like imagine just opening up your hand and letting the dove go i just wanted to do that so after we've had intimacy or whatever whatever now um we've gone to sleep the morning's come he wants to cheat and i was like no like i don't want to like i'm not feeling good like my nonny's hurting me you've done too much plus that's a bit bizarre i don't know what kind of holy spirit was attacking you but it was a bit mad so we've got ready and stuff i had a shower got ready put my clothes on we went to go eat in the car in cardiff town more whatever we had food we had something to eat he, um, not gonna lie, he paid, um, I never spent my money when I went to Cardiff, he was paying for things that I wanted and stuff, we didn't end up going out anyway, because like I said to you guys, that it was raining, the weather was really terrible in Cardiff, so, after that now, we've ate and stuff, we've gone to the tra train station for the people to tell me that there's no blood clot trains, for the people to tell me that there's a train strike and there's no train, so I'm stuck in Cardiff. I'm like, bro, no, I'm not staying here again. I'm not staying here. It's not happening. So we're sitting outside Pret Manager, that coffee shop. So we're sitting out there with there's some these little stools, whatever, like some like built-in wall thing. And then we're sitting there, like he's going through his camera roll and we're having conversation because I'm trying to figure what I'm gonna do next. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take a coach home. So I bought my coach ticket to go back home to London. I think my coach was in the evening times or whatever because I, I think it was around three o'clock or something. But my coach was booked for like five something. I don't know. I can't remember, but I'll put the screenshots there. So we're there sitting there. We're, 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 we sat down for like, I think, three hours, wasting time, talking about life, talking about a lot of things, getting to know each other more. Talking, He's there opening up to me about his marriage. Uh, he's there opening up to me about his baby mums whatever whatever he's showing me pictures of his kids memories of his kids like how him and his kids are and his stepdaughter it was really really cute i'm not gonna lie to you and then we saw like a cute little poodle came so there's this man that had a poodle he the, the poodle came and i saw and i was just holding the poodle it was so cute like i really want a poodle now after seeing that man's dog i really really want a poodle like i was obsessed he's taking his phone out he's recording me and stuff and i was like to him oh can you record me like i want videos of me with this poodle so he starts to record me with the poodle he's air dropping the pictures of the poodle and stuff like that then after we're talking we're talking we're getting to know each other a bit more he's talking to me about a lot of things that he's gone through um he's talking to me about things that you know we could relate to and stuff whatever so time has gone by now it's time for me to go to the coach station we had to walk a bit i'm not gonna lie to you we had to walk a bit so he takes me to the coach station we're there we're chatting we're talking we're waiting for the coach to come into the um the coach bit then after after like probably like 30 minutes of waiting for the coach whatever he's giving me a kiss um we've kissed each other goodbye and stuff i'm on the coach he's messaged me we end up having an argument on the coach um and i started sitting a four hour journey back to london this is where i'm now reflecting on everything this is where i just made a vow to god say like i'm just i'm not going to focus on men after everything on my way back home i promised myself and i promised god that i'm not going to focus on men i am done with men i legitimately am wasting my life trying to find that one and i just gotta let 
it happened naturally i just gotta let god place somebody in my life and when i mean place i mean god has to pick somebody up and put him in front of me stop trying to find that one and stop letting these waste mans and these broke ass niggas that are sleeping on sofas and mattresses on bed to chat to me so on the journey i'm sitting there i'm thinking about everything i'm thinking about the g i'm thinking about like everything that's happened i'm going through our conversations i'm thinking about everything and i think this guy's tapped like something about it. like in my thoughts i'm thinking something about him is not making sense and he, i feel like he's play me i feel like he's trying to fuck with my gangster and that's when i start disrespecting niggas out here because it's like when you think you can have one upon me and you think you can play me and disrespect me and you're deceiving me i'm gonna make sure you learn the fucking hard way like you're not going to do that to me because if it was another girl she'd probably do something mad to herself but you're not gonna play me and i'm gonna make sure that the world knows what kind of fucked up surviving cardiff broker you are victoria and i'm like hmm this guy said he's got a twin. This doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. I started going through his whole entire Instagram. I started looking at all his pictures. Then I went onto the rapper's page. And I started looking at the rapper's page. And I thought, you they, they wear the same Zach clothes. They're built the same. They, there's no difference. Something's not adding up. This is him. I know that's him. I started listening to the music. And I started going through YouTube and I started listening to every single one of this twin brothers rap. And I was listening to the music and I heard the voice and I said, this is him. It sounds just like you. How does your twin brother sound just like you? I was like, no. When I was in the apartment and I was sitting there and he was playing the music, I wasn't really listening because he was interrupting like this was a 3D fucking show. So... The fact that I'm here with my ep with my ep my headphones in and I'm actually listening to the music by myself. I can hear it 4K. This is him. I call him. I'm like, are you lying to me? He's like, what are you talking about? I said, don't lie to me. I said, I'm going to ask you a question for the last time and do not lie to me. Because if you lie to me, I'm going to take it as a disrespect. See me? I mean, ma, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to so beat you, eh? If I beat you, finish it. Your master, your papa, no will know you again. Your brother, no will know you. Leave iron knife for granted. Change the inner knife.